Oh, yeah. what a fish, man. <laughs> wow. Is that good yeah. or what? Wow. wow. They are enormous. Unbelievable. Oh, man. <laughs> what a fish, Mike. <laughs> Look at the size of that one, would you? Holy cow. Woo. And that bait is gone. <laughs> no, no, it's right here. No problem. Look at that one, would you? Man, oh, man. Look at the size of that fish. That is one beautiful redfish. <laughs> Folks, we are at the mouth of the Mississippi River, Venice, Louisiana, and this may be, if not the greatest drive-to <clears throat> fishery in North America, it is certainly, arguably, one of the very best. You know what's great is these big redfish in shallow water on light tackle, it's 12 months out the year. Really? Winter, spring, summer, fall, they are ready to chomp. And this is one place where you get the bulls all year long. All year fairly long. Fairly close in. Yeah. yeah, real close in. It's, we're, what, foot and a half of water when we hooked that? We were dragging yep. the trolling motor on the bottom. All right, we'll put them back and talk just a little bit more. But there you go. Oh, man, they're beautiful. Just beautiful. These fish are so releasable. You know, Mike, I fished redfish just about every place now over the last maybe 10 years, but this is the last place I haven't been to. And it's maybe the best. Oh, I tell you what, Doug, I fish tournaments all the way from the northern part of North Carolina to the Mexican border, and there's some great fisheries in between. Oh, yeah. But without a doubt, the mouth of the river down here in Venice, Louisiana, holds the best red fishing in the country. I got hit. <laughs> I'll tell you what, as much as I like ice fishing, this is the place to be right now. <laughs> I can tell look you. Look at him waving at you. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, you're right. If you want to get away from the ice and the snow and all that kind of stuff, there's no better place to fish, is there? No. You can fish crankbaits. You can fish top water baits. You can fish salt, you know, salt plastic, <clears throat> scented baits. I mean, it's just incredible. You know, it gives you a lot of action on, salt, you know, on artificial baits that you can sharpen your skills with them as well. Oh, he just turns his body, shakes his tail one way or the other, that's it. You can't. You can't turn him. He's no, going to do what he wants to do. Good fish. He is going to just do it. You know, I, I, I fished all my life out of here. Yeah. And caught lots of blue marlin, thousands of tuna, uh, one world record wahoo. And there's nothing better to me than fishing light tackle for redfish in shallow water. Well, and that is the reason you can bring your freshwater skills here and do this kind of damage. You could bring your freshwater tackle. Yeah, well, that's what we're you. doing. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. Right in the lip. He's grinning at you. There he is. Fish. Wow. Woo! Look at that one, would you? Nicely done. That is, isn't it? It's as big as those other ones. That's 30 pound fish almost. <laughs> that's a good fish. You know, I like when you say almost, because that gives you a lot of latitude. Well, I'm good at I that. I mean, he could be 30 Usually pounds. Usually I underestimate fish. He could be 40 pounds. I may be the only guy on TV who commonly underestimates fish. Look at that, would you? Yeah, they're beautiful fish. Yeah, he is thick too. Yeah, just really crunchy. I mean, just a big, massive head, an eating machine. There we go. Yep. Good fish. Holy cow. Wow. Oh, wow. look at that one, would you? Oh, I got the drag set tight too, man. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Mm. They that are one, unbelievable. That one is really smoking. He's almost on the bank. Look at him. I mean, he's just ripping. You gotta sit and tighten up just a little later. <laughs> Yee -hee -hee, I love it. <laughs> oh, what a fish this is. One thing about it, I can promise you, if 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 you ever reincarnated, yeah. you don't want to be a shrimp. <laughs> you don't want to be a crab. Or a mullet. Or a mullet or a pogey in here, because you you're in serious trouble. Just brute force. What a pig of a fish. <laughs> Look at that. Look at his mouth. It looks like a big old bucket head the way he's got that mouth open. Come on, big boy. All right, coming in. If you only knew that we're there just going to release him. There we go. Come on, buddy. You're all part of the oh, show. Oh, man. What there a he is. Woo. He is. I got to have a look at that creature. <laughs> he's bigger than the last one, I can tell you that. Holy smokes, 35? <laughs> what? I don't know how big it is. He's a toad. There we go. Oh, man, oh man. This is why, in my estimation, if this isn't North America's greatest drive to fishery, it's got to be one of the top five. Oh, it's without a doubt probably the top one, like you said, from blue marlin to bass in between there. You've got yellowfin tuna, wahoo, 
king mackerel, amberjack, giant red snappers, grouper, we got oh, bass, yeah, yeah. redfish, speckled trout, flounder, you name it in the salt water, pretty much it's here. And this in the wintertime, I don't know how it gets any better than this. This is an experience you can drive to.